Three years after construction halted on the Taipei Dome project amid allegations of corruption, Taipei Mayor Ko wen has decided to form a committee to coordinate his administration's ongoing dispute with Far Glory, the construction firm tasked with delivering the dome to Taipei. Ko denies the upcoming mayoral elections will lead to inappropriate decisions in the controversial case. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Wen Jiko, Mayor of Taipei City. Taipei Mayor Ke Wen Zhe was hobbing with global elites at the Global Startups Talents at Taipei conference when reporters quizzed him on his reported decision to form a commission to coordinate the city government's dispute with Far Glory, the firm originally contracted to build the Taipei Dome. We won't deliberately make trouble for Far Glory, but neither will we be lenient about lapses. But if we need executive support, then we have to get that sorted out. For example, a legal resolution. So I have been very clear. Don't do anything special because of elections coming up. Do everything as it ought to be done. We also can't give them an unconditional construction license because of the election. Kerr stressed that he would uphold standards rigorously, even in the run-up to the mayoral election at the end of the year. But his DPP rival Yao Wenzhi is having none of it. He's just biding his time. He's been putting off the Taipei Dome problem in all of his four years in office. Many processes have happened in the meantime. And I think there's really only one solution, which is to replace the contractor Far Glory and replace the mayor too. Since Kerr ordered construction to halt at the Dome three years ago, the project has completely stalled, turning into a major embarrassment for the mayor. Yao Wenzhi previously vowed that, if elected, he would dissolve the city government's contract with Far Glory.